Anne McGuire had worked at Corpus Christi Catholic College in Leeds, England for 40 years and was months away from retirement. The Spanish teacher was described as the mother of the school and was held in high regard by her students and colleagues for her willingness and passion to educate. On April 28, 2014, McGuire went to school on her day off in order to help her students prepare for upcoming exams. Halfway through the lesson, Anne was leaning over a desk helping a student when Will Cornick, an intelligent but reserved student, entered the room and without warning repeatedly stabbed his teacher in the back of a 21 centimeter knife. McGuire screamed at her students to flee the classroom. Despite being stabbed seven times and bleeding profusely, she escaped the room and was chased down the corridor by her attacker. McGuire rushed into the staff office, saying, He stabbed me in the neck. I'm dying. A teacher slammed the office door closed, preventing Cornick from entering. He just stood looking at me. I just remember his face having no emotion, like a mask on his face. The teacher commented, With access to McGuire cut off, Cornick returned to the classroom and sat back at his desk as if nothing happened. He said, Good times to the class and surrendered without struggle when teachers and police arrived. Anne McGuire passed away on the way to the hospital. Her jugular vein had been severed. An experienced paramedic noted the stab wounds were the worst she had ever seen. The vicious murder of a well-respected teacher horrified the nation. The fact that the offender was only 15 and had little history of disciplinary issues made the case even more shocking. While Will Cornick's parents were separated, they remained supportive and caring of their son. After his first year at Corpus Christi Catholic College, the head of Year 7 described Cornick as a delightful pupil who always gave his best and was pleasant, polite, and cooperative with 100% attendance. Cornick's art teacher would state, I would never have thought that someone so polite and well-mannered would dream of doing anything so horrific. Classmates of Cornick described him as a typical, nice lad who was quiet and didn't cause trouble. In 2010, Will Cornick collapsed at a family holiday in Cornwall and was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. This event appeared to have changed his demeanour as he became more withdrawn socially and academically. Because of the diagnosis, Cornick would learn that he would be unable to join the British military, his chosen career path. There was a brief period where he self-harmed. It would be around this time that the student developed a deep hatred for his Spanish teacher, Anne McGuire, who always pushed her students to strive for success. Cornick made it clear to his parents that he disliked McGuire and wanted to drop the Spanish subject. His anger intensified when he received a detention after he failed to complete his homework. On Christmas Day of 2013, Cornick sent a message to a friend explaining how he would brutally murder Anne McGuire. He added that he would claim that he heard voices after the act, so that he would spend the rest of his life at a psychiatric facility as opposed to prison. In February of 2014, Cornick and his parents attended a meeting with Anne McGuire. The student did not shy away from making his negative feelings about his teacher known. A few days later, he sent another friend a message saying that McGuire deserves more than death, more than pain, torture, and more than anything that we can understand. He offered another friend ten pounds to carry out the killing. On the day of the murder, Will Cornick came to school with two knives, the murder weapon and a smaller knife, as well as a bottle of Jack Daniel's whiskey with which he planned on celebrating with after the killing. That morning, he told at least ten schoolmates that he was going to kill Maguire. He threatened to do the same to anyone that revealed his plan. Many did not take him seriously. They thought it was just Will being Will, who was known for his dark humour and saying things that were not true. Before the murder, Cornick showed another student the knife and asked him to check if it was sharp. As he walked out of the room, he turned around and winked at the classmate. When he was arrested, Cornick began asking the police constable random questions like, what is your favourite movie, or what is your favourite adrenaline sport? Cornick revealed to a psychiatrist that he had decided that he was going to kill Anne McGuire four days before the murder. He explained that it was either kill his teacher or commit suicide. 
He stated, After months of thinking life is pretty shit, I couldn't see myself passing college and had no hope of doing anything. I tried to apply for the army, but they said no. I wasn't in shock. I was happy. I had a sense of pride. I still do. I know it's uncivilized, but I know it's incredibly instinctual and human. Past generations of life, killing is a natural route of survival. It's kill or be killed. I did not have a choice. It was kill her or suicide. Cornick contemplated over the following days how exactly he was going to commit the murder. He went back and forth on using a blunt force object, a gun, or pushing Anne out of a window before settling on using a knife. Despite his evil intentions, Cornick attended his grandmother's birthday party that weekend and appeared polite and happy. In custody, Cornick told psychiatrists that he felt no remorse for his actions, stating, I know the victim's family will be upset, but I don't care. In my eyes, everything I've done is fine and dandy. He admitted that on the day of the murder, he planned on killing a pregnant teacher and a male teacher as well. A psychiatrist stated that Will Cornick had a gross lack of empathy for his victim and a degree of callousness rarely seen in clinical practice, and that he presents a risk of serious harm to the public and that this risk is present for the foreseeable future. The risk is of grave homicidal violence, and this could easily involve the use of a weapon. The risk is immediate and unpredictable and could cause serious and lethal injury. In November of 2014, Will Cornick pleaded guilty to murdering Anne McGuire. He was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum term of 20 years. <laughs>